Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's LEGO Robotics. Happy July 1st, and today what I'm going to do is update you on the Hino Robotics World Records. So basically I'm going to show you if any records were set or broken, and I'm going to swap out one that I thought, eh, I want to make it a little bit, you know, equal for everybody to get done. So if you want to see everything, stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. Okay, first let's go ahead and get to the switch that I wanted to make. I, if you remember the last time we had this world record video, in fact, I'll leave a link for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about at the end of this video. But basically what we're trying to do is set robotic world records. And what that means is it's not a Guinness Book world record, but you know, those of you that know that I have viewers from all over the world. So if we set out a challenge and you're the best one, then it must be a Hino Robotics world record. So you can check out that video at the end of this one, but let's watch this one first, okay? So basically what I wanna do is swap out the tall robot. For those of you that don't know what I was talking about, I was talking about people making the tallest robot they could that would go from up one spot and go around and back to that same spot again. But as soon as I uploaded it, I thought, oh, wait a minute. You know, it's going to give somebody an advantage that has more pieces or parts than other people. And I didn't want to make it to the where, you know, somebody has an advantage over somebody else that just might have more pieces. So I wanted to do is basically scratch that. What I wanted to do was still show a video of Steve. I was, I was so impressed, Steve, on what you made. I'm going to definitely show his video, but what I want to do is take that record or challenge off the table because I want to give you guys challenges where anybody can get this done as long as you have a LEGO EV3 kit. So what I didn't want to do, again, is have somebody that has five kits be able to make theirs taller because they just have more pieces. Does that sound right? Fair? Okay. So what I want to do today is swap out uh, that challenge for a different one. But let's go ahead and find out because we did get people that sent in videos for the limbo contest. For those of you that don't know, it was what is the lowest robot you can make that can go under the limbo bar and back around to the base. So we actually have an EV3 record and we also have a spike prime record. So let's go ahead and roll the challenges or the videos that came in for that challenge. Ready? Go. the bar with six holes.
Greetings, sir. I'm Isha Nagpure, 12 years old, and it has really been a privilege participating in this competition. This is my entry for the first challenge of this month. Here, the limbo bar has been placed at the 8th hole from the bottom. The distance between the limbo bar and the paper is more than 12 inches. The components of this robot are a brick, a medium motor, a wheel and a caster. Here goes the demo. It has successfully gone under the limbo bar and reached at a start position. Hope you liked it. Thank you. Okay, so let's now go ahead to the challenge I want to swap out for the tall robot. And it's going to be called the strongest robot challenge. So this is going to be something that everybody can do. And what I want to do right now is put out this disclaimer, just so that again, um, somebody can't go, well, hey, that's not fair. They use more pieces than, you know, I did. What I wanted to do is leave it on your guys' honor, for those of you that have an EV3 kit, to only use what's in your kit. Um, I just don't want people just throwing a massive amount of pieces on there. And again, I just don't want it to be unfair for those of people that just have one kit. So the rule is, number one rule, you can only use what's in your LEGO EV3 kit. Whether that be the education version or the consumer version, doesn't matter but just only use what's in your kit. Okay, so here is now gonna be the challenge for the robot that will have the world record is the robot that can lift the most weight. And let me go ahead and show you how you're gonna do this because I wanted again to do it where everybody is the same, where everybody gets a chance to lift the same thing. So let's go to that. Okay, I was thinking about having you guys create something out of your EV3 kit but I didn't want you guys taking away from your kit to build something that you can actually be using to lift. So I thought, hey, everybody in the world has a toilet paper roll, right? You can let me know if your country or city doesn't have these, but you know, we did the honor roll challenge and everybody from every different country had a toilet paper roll. So what we're gonna, you're gonna need is a toilet paper roll. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys decide on the axle but an axle to be able to go through the roll and some tape. So let me go ahead and show you what you're gonna do. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is we're gonna seal up one end of the toilet paper roll with tape, just so that nothing can go through. You can see I kind of made a little X here. And I guess just keep taping. Probably don't want to tape too much because, you know, tape can add to the weight here. There's one more piece like this. 
Okay, so just taped up so that nothing can go through. This is step number one. Okay, so step number two is going to be for you to um, poke a hole in your tube so that this axle can go through. What we're going to use this axle for is basically basically a lifting agent where your robot can come underneath it. I, I don't know what you might be able to do, um, but we want this axle to go all the way through. So this is going to probably be the dangerous part here. So I can see some of you that are very careful using an X-Acto knife or something like that. What you don't want to do is you don't want to mess up your tube here. So you might want to just um, keep drilling a hole here. Now what you want to do is you're going to want another hole to be on the same exact side so that this can go right through. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so here is what it should look like. Remember, there's the tape at the bottom. You can put this wherever you want if you feel it's better down below, but I put mine, what is that, maybe three-fourths of an inch down from the top. What I did is I took some of my, one of my wife's needles, poked a hole, and then just slowly started to put things like this uh, out of mechanical pencil and this pen. Just keep pressing it until the hole got big enough for this axle to go through. So now what we're gonna do is Go ahead and figure out what do we put inside so we can lift this thing. Okay, so now once we got this cup or this toilet paper all ready, now what we're going to do is we're going to be putting things from your EV3 kit, like these beams, inside. Now, like before, you're going to just videotape or just show us in your shot what you're putting in so we can figure out how much, you know, is that. So you can start putting in beams inside. You know, so just show us each thing that you're putting in. You can put your ball bearing inside. So whatever you decide to put in, just make sure you're showing this on your video so that way it's not a mystery what's inside. And then what you're trying to do, whoops, is you're just trying to have your robot lift this off the surface of whatever your robot's on. So in your video just show that you know this is being lifted off the ground and that's a success and then just keep putting more things in there until this thing can't put any more weight in so what we want to do is we want to avoid putting things in here that not everybody has so i was thinking hey why don't we just put you know quarters and and things like that but i'm thinking wait those people that live in europe can't put quarters inside their toilet paper roll so Think of things that, you know, if you need to really start putting things that weigh heavily in this kit, think about your ball bearing. Think about other things that you can put inside here that just, you know, will start to weigh this down. Because right now I have a good amount of beams in here, but it doesn't feel that heavy. I feel like any robot should be able to lift this thing. So what we want to do is start to just think inside your kit. What is heavy that I can fit inside here? And then what I would love to do is take your suggestions. What I wanted to do again is figure out something that everybody has, something that everybody can put inside just so that everybody can participate in this. And there's also a way for Mr. Hino to know this is the exact record rather than us thinking, okay, how in the world do we know what 18 quarters is, you know, as far as how much does that weigh? So if you can think of a simplified way to do this, let me know, but for now, we're going to do this. And I know you can't fit a whole lot into this. So unless somebody comes up with a better idea, we're going to go with the toilet paper roll. Okay. And then just show me your video. Again, if you're new to how we do this, just email your video to Mr. or Hino Lego Robotics at gmail.com. And then on August 1st, we'll figure out who lifted the most weight in their toilet paper roll. So again, if you have any questions, just throw them down in the comment section and I'll answer each one. Okay, everybody. So today was the update and the change of the tall robot now to the strongest robot. We also know what you need to do to beat Mr. Hino's limbo record of six holes down from the top of that bar. So on August 1st, we'll see if there's any new entries for the limbo. Uh, we'll see if anybody can beat the Robotic Panther's spike prime record. 
And then we'll also see which robot lifted the most weight in our strongest robot. Um, I'll probably, before the month is up, throw you guys out at least one or two more challenges, but you're going to have to stay tuned for that. Okay, guys, I'm Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.